types of functional dependency so yes so today in this video we will learn about various types of functional dependencies hello guys and welcome to my channel making it simple previously i have simplified the concept of functional dependency and partial dependency if you have not watched those videos definitely check them out so the functional dependency has few other types which we will be discussing in today's video following other types first one is trivial functional dependency second one is non trivial functional dependency third one is multi valued functional dependency fourth one is transitive functional dependency and the last one is fully functional dependency so without wasting any time let us start after a short intro So let us start with the first type trivial functional dependency consider this functional dependency a goes to b or a determines b if dependent b is subset of determinant a then this dependency is trivial functional dependency let's take an example to clear the idea let us consider this employee table from this table we can write a functional dependency employee id and name determines name is it a valid functional dependency yes it is a valid one with the help of employee id and name we can determine the name attribute it is definitely a valid one but it is kind of useless so the dependent attribute name is a subset of determinant employee id and name that is dependent is already present in the determinant we are not getting anything new from it such kind of dependency is trivial functional dependency now let us see the non trivial functional dependency it is just the opposite of trivial again let us consider a dependency a goes to b or a determines b if dependent b is not a subset of determinant a then only this dependency is said to be non trivial functional dependency let us take an example to get a clear idea consider same employee table now let us take another functional dependency let us say employee id and name determine age we can determine age by using employee id and name so it is a valid functional dependency now if we observe the dependent age is not a subset of determinant employee id and name that is dependent attribute is not present in determinant so this kind of dependencies are non trivial dependencies where we are finding something we don't already know employee id determines name or employee id determines age are also some valid non trivial functional dependencies in this particular table next one we have is multi valued functional dependency in this dependency we retrieve multiple values consider a functional dependency a determines b and c now this is a multi valued functional dependency if there is no functional dependency between dependents b and c that is there should not be any functional dependency b determines c or c determines b then only we can say that a determines b and c is a multi valued functional dependency let us simplify with an example consider the same employee table and from that we write a functional dependency employee id determines name and age now when will this functional dependency become multi valued functional dependency if there is no functional dependency between dependents in our case between name and age let us check by using name can we determine the age uniquely there are two records with same name but we have different age values this kind of case is an invalid functional dependency as one determinant attribute value has two separate dependent attribute values now let us check by using age can we determine name similar case can be seen here also for two same age values we have different name values same case as before 
and therefore this is also an invalid functional dependency so as there is no functional dependency between the dependents name and age we can conclude that this functional dependency is a multivalued functional dependency next one we have is transitive functional dependency what does this state if there is a functional dependency a determines b and another functional dependency b determines c and if both are valid functional dependencies then a can determine c according to the rule of transitivity let us take an example of employee table let us consider two functional dependencies based on the table first one is employee id determines the department name and the second one is department name determines department building both are valid functional dependencies so by transitivity we can say that by using employee id we can determine department building this is an indirect functional dependency which is called transitive functional dependency the last type in today's video is fully functional dependency if there is a functional dependency a b c determines a d and if d cannot be determined by any proper subset of determinant a b c that is following are the proper subset of determinant a b c if any of these cannot determine dependent d then and then only this functional dependency can be stated as fully functional dependency let us elaborate using an example consider this marks table by observing the table we can write that student id and course id together determine marks now let's check if this is a fully functional dependency we stated that dependent should not be determined by any proper subset of determinant so our determinant is student id and course id proper subset for following will be student id and another will be course id let's check if we can determine marks using these if we want to get marks of student id 1 there are three individual records with student id 1 and we get three different values for marks we cannot uniquely determine marks just by student id so this is not a functional dependency next if we want to get marks of course id a still we get different values for marks for one course id so following is also not a functional dependency so no proper subset of determinant can determine the dependent marks uniquely therefore this functional dependency is fully functional dependency so these are the types of functional dependencies hope you all understood all types of functional dependencies in the upcoming videos we will cover the remaining normal forms so stay tuned if my videos help you in clearing the concepts and your doubts leave a like and share the video with others in need check out other videos on my channel and for more such amazing videos subscribe my channel making it simple and press the bell icon to get latest video notifications see you in the next video thank you